Hi, I'm Matt Shade Tech. I'm a producer and DJ based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the senior logic instructor for DubSpot and for DubSpot Online. In this video, I want to talk about some sampling techniques using Logic's EXS24 sampler. And we're going to talk about taking samples, chopping them, and requantizing them into new rhythms. Now, I've got an example track here. This is actually a remix that I'm working on for a project that my label, Duddy Arts, is doing in collaboration with Palenque Records out of Colombia. The original song is called Ataole by Batata, who's like a legendary Colombian percussionist. And so I'll just play you a little piece of this. I'm going to kind of jump right into the middle right before the main part, just so you don't have to listen to the whole intro. But this will be out soon on Duddy Arts, and you can get it on iTunes and stuff. So that's a little taste of the, the vibe. And so what I want to focus on are the sampler instrument parts that I created here. So the main groove here is a triplet based groove. And what we've got is sort of a mix of triplets and sort of straight 4-4. So here we've got our kick drum is doing a straight 4-4 thing. And then the main percussion, the congas, is doing this triplet based pattern. And this is kind of where the main groove comes from. And then all the other parts are kind of chopped to fit that groove. So like the accordion, the guitar, and so on. And so I'm gonna show you how I achieved that. Let's just scroll back to the beginning of the track here. I've got a little loop of the original conga part. which is awesome to begin with. And of course, I'm tempted to use Batata's awesome conga parts as they are, but I kind of feel like making a remix and just relying on somebody else's awesomeness is a little lazy. So I'm sort of trying to put my fingerprints on it a little bit and, and do something a little different. And so the way that I did that was by slicing and requantizing these drum parts. So what I'm gonna do is if we right click on the conga part here, go down to convert, and we have this convert to new sampler track option. Choose that and we have a choice to create zones from regions or from transient markers. Now if we did regions, it would just take this whole piece and put it on one note on the keyboard. That's not what I want. So what I've done is I've selected transient markers and I'll call this conga vid. And what this will do is automatically detect the changes in volume. So basically each drum hit and slice those onto a different key on the keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. Just a little note here, you wanna keep your names for these EXS instruments as short as possible, because sometimes if you have a longer name, Logic has a hard time finding it and reloading it the next time you open your project. So just keep an eye out for that. Hit OK. And it's created now this new MIDI region for me, along with a new sampler track with a new instance of the EXS24, 
with the sound all sliced up and loaded in there. And this is the original part. So what we've got is we've got the, all the sounds, right? Sliced out. And, but the original playing has been preserved, right? This can be cool if you want to kind of analyze the groove and figure out kind of what he was doing that made it interesting. Um, you could also use this to make like groove templates or something. Um, in this case, what I'm going to do is quantize it. So I'm going to select all of these using select all and then go up here to my quantize menu and choose 12th notes, right? And this is gonna give me this triplet pattern. So now we've got this. So that's pretty cool, but we've got a couple of notes overlapping and you see some of them got kind of stuck on top of each other. So what I'm gonna do is right click and go to note overlap correction and just delete. There's no chords in here, right? So I'm just gonna delete the chord notes, boom. And now we've got our kind of basic groove. Now, of course, you can go in and edit this and do whatever you want. Like I made some little different rhythm variations in mine, but this was how I got the basic idea. And I did this on a bunch of parts, right? The guitar. This one you didn't hear, this is in the intro. This little guitar part and then also this other more processed guitar over here. In this case, I didn't really use the original pattern. I just sliced it and made a new pattern out of it. And that's the same for the accordion as well. And in this case, this was just, I sliced it up and made a new pattern out of it. And then this one as well, this is like the final pattern for the accordion. And so one of the things that I'm using here to do this kind of editing is changing the grid to a 12th or 24th note grid, right? So I can edit my triplet patterns easily. You don't want to be working on triplets in a 16th note grid, right? Because you see a bunch of these just look like they're offbeat. But when we get that 24th note grid up, we can see that everything locks in nicely. And if you want to learn more about changing the grid and some other rhythm editing techniques and drum programming techniques, you can check out my video about that on the Dubspot YouTube channel. So hopefully this gives you some ideas for your own production. Obviously you don't need to requantize everything to triplets, but there's some interesting possibilities with slicing things and requantizing them or chopping them up. You can have a lot of fun with samples and kind of get under the hood with them a little bit more. And so if you want to learn more stuff like this, you can check us out at dubspot.com. And if you want to learn more about me, you can check me out at mattshadetech.com. Thanks so much for watching. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.